Stop. Stop it. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Hey, what's up, Reefers? Today's gonna be kind of a weird one, but it is sort of an update for the 150 gallon tank build because we're gonna talk about the sump that DC Reefer got me really quickly. So, as we spin over here, you see that the sump got some water in there, and let me explain what's going on. I do not have a lot of room to keep the sump inside the house, so I moved the sump outside. I, I should have flipped it upside down, but I did not, and rainwater started collecting in it for the past, what do you say, like two months? This may be a lazy man, lazy man way of testing whether the sump is water ready or not. And sure enough, the sump can hold water with no leak. Today I took a closer look to the sump and holy crap man, a whole, a whole ecosystem has started in here. And we'll start... Like a breather now. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Somebody explain to me. Uh, number one, okay, we got plant growing, which is cool. I think that's super cool and it's doing really healthy underwater. There's one more. There's another one right there. Now, okay, fine. And then we started seeing some mosquito lava. I'm like, okay, that's not good. Um, standing water, right? But as I look a little bit closer, I was like, wait a minute. Are these tadpoles? Oh, there's more here? Oh, geez, man. So these are all tadpoles. And they all look really young. Maybe there's a frog that crawled up here, found this patch of water, and purposely laid egg in this little sump. I think that's probably the most likely. That's probably the most likely. And speaking of which, this piece of wood is rotted. Yeah, good thing I got the miter saw. 500 bucks miter saw that I'm probably gonna only use once. Or maybe we'll just wait until they all become frogs or toads. Yeah. Hop away. Yeah, let's do that. So if the tank build becomes like uh, really slow and stagnant, I'll just be like, yeah, you know what? I don't want to take the home away from the tadpoles and frogs, so we're gonna wait until they all move out. That's a, that's a ticket. Until they all move out. The next day. All right, we're trying to feed uh, X a lot some new diet. I figure we'd get something a little bit meatier in them now, now that they're a little bit larger. Um, I can't handle this shit, so. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, can, I don't do well with worms. I don't do well with insects. Oh, God, man. So after she goes back to Hong Kong. I, oh, yeah, I'm not getting that close. You, you hold it. Wait, uh, where are you going? Oh, fuck. No, stop. Stop it. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo, stop it. Okay, okay, go back there. Go back there. Which one do you want? You, you pick one. Oh, you pick so. one. You like them. Oh, I'm lightheaded right now. This one is dead. Okay, that's fine. Let's feed the dead one. Oh, oh, oh no, it's not. no. Came to life. It's not. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> one eternity later. Okay, so we're feeding a larger piece to a larger exolot. Larger piece to a larger exolot. <laughs> First time taking yes. a media fruit. Oh. oh my god. Oh okay. my god. Okay. Uh... It's too big. Oh. It's too big. Oh, <laughs> oh my wow. god. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. There Let's it goes. Let's go for three days. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's is just good for three days. It's gonna stop floating like, upside oh. down. <laughs> Trying to like, keep the food in. Like, Look, he's can't, she can't balance. <laughs> like, what's going on? Oh. But what I see people feed on YouTube, they like big earthworms. It's about that size, come really? in, in proportion to their body. This is small. Okay, see. now that we fed the larger female, really we're gonna hungry. try to feed the. No, I think I think the larger one's too full to try again. Did you just drop it? <laughs> oh, oh, you got it. it. Got it. Ooh. Here, here. There he goes, slurping spaghetti. So here we see the little guy trying to inhale. Oh, there it is, finally. Slurping the whole thing. Oh, that's it. I think I think got it all. That was kind of cool to see, kind of disturbing to see, but kind of cool to see. And right over there, that, that girl was doing a little laps, trying to get some exercise in after a big meal. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, yep, time to exercise. Ooh. Hey, what's up, Reefers? Thank you for staying until the end. This is a special message for those of you who are the hardcore Reef Squad who stay till the end of the video. So as you know, I don't do a lot of merch because I don't think my channel is that popular. But when I talked to Chung from Locked and Load Design about possibly doing a collaboration, he gave me a really cool idea about some small swag that I could give away. And I have them in my hands right now, literally. 
Check this out. So this is a really cool rubber magnet that is based off of the design of the very talented Raymond of Sea Aquarium. I'll have the link in the description below. And the super cool part is that this is actually a raised rubber, meaning that it's not a flat design, it actually raises up and it really gives that extra dimension, extra texture to it. Love it. Like I mentioned before, this is a magnet, so you can stick it onto whatever you want. You can just leave it on the fridge and be basic like me. Even though the raised rubber looks really cool, but that drives the cost up. But we don't skim on quality on this channel or at locked and loaded design. With that said, it does drive the cost up, meaning that I don't have a lot of units on hand. And due to the cost, I'm not sure if I feel comfortable charging you guys for it. So I think what I'll do is this. I will be giving these away over time, mostly at in-person event, but once in a while I may do some, uh, I may do some cases where I'll ship it out to you. And to kick things off, I'm gonna bring some of these to Reefapalooza this Saturday and Sunday uh, at New Jersey. And if you just come up to me and say hi, and uh, if I have any left, I'll give you one. Those of you who are not local and would like to have one of these magnets, um, just leave a comment say, with hashtag hardcore reef squad and I will randomly pick two of you guys to send this to anywhere in the world. Now this is something so small that I'm not gonna do a live stream on the price picking. I'm just gonna, you just have to trust me, I'm just gonna randomly scroll down and just pick two winners. Maybe middle of next week. I'll be replying to your comment as well as uh, DMing you to make sure that you got the note that you want. Now you notice that I mentioned two winners, that's because we got another one. And lastly, I just want to give a huge thank you to Chung from Locked and Loaded Design. There's a lot of back and forth in terms of like production and he has been on top of things. Quality is fantastic. And also, again, I always try to give a shout out to the wonderful designer, Raymond of Sea Aquarium on Instagram. Be sure to check him out as well. Really, really talented guy. With that said, this weekend I'll be at Reef Palooza, but I will have a video ready and it will be a nice, exciting video. Look forward to it and I'll see you on Sunday. Oh, that's I'm serious. That's